I'm going to let go and watch it. Voom. That is a 1.92 gigabyte file. Now in today's video, we're taking a look at expandable storage options for your smartphones, your laptops, your tablets, anything that needs more storage and that connect via USB-C. Um, and this is a pretty innovative solution because this is a magnetic or MagSafe charger that connects in the back of your phone. And let's face it, most if not all our phones now support this, but this could also connect to the side of your laptop as well and serve as a backup solution for your laptop. Matter of fact, in my case, Given all the content that we're creating, I do a lot of stuff on many devices. I have like professional camera gear, like what you see right now, but then I also use and supplement some of my content using a smartphone because they are so good. So having to take content from an iPhone or from an Android phone is a regular occurrence for me. That's where this little guy comes in. And when I say little guy, I literally mean this little guy. So this is a solid state drive that basically connects to your phone and not only does it connect to your phone, but it has a little kickstand so that you can actually use it um, like a little uh, stand to lift up your phone on the side. Or if you're doing a conference, you could do it like this. And also then on the side of it, because it's not blocking this part on the bottom, you have a USB-C port that allows you to connect to your uh, smartphone. Now, this device is, they mention. Uh, that this device works with Android. And I want to be full disclosure. This is not a review. This is a first look. This is a project that's on Kickstarter. This company has actually made other devices in the past, so they're not really new to the uh, mobile phone arena or, um, for that matter, solid state arena. But I have not been able to get this to work on my Android devices at all. However, they say that that support is definitely going to be present for the final products. I have, I don't know if it's called an alpha, I don't know if it's a beta, but just uh, full disclosure, I'm not going to show you this working on an Android device. That being said, on a PC, on a Mac, and on an iPhone, it works spectacular. And I would expect that the same experience should be present once it gets supported on Android. I am requesting from them an up-to-date version uh, that would work on Android, uh, just to make sure that you know we're pretty transparent on how things work. So let's take a look at some of the features and things that are going on here so that you can see why you should consider something like this. Because really, let's face it, most of our smartphones have limited space. Most of our laptops, tablets all have limited space. And if you're looking to transfer information back and forth or store information offline, uh, this is a great thing to do. And it's also very fast. Now, looking at the specs for a second, right, this is a DK disk enclosure. It comes with a one terabyte storage. Now, maximum capacity is two terabytes. I have the one terabyte. USB-C 3.2 Gen 2, as you can see here, and it does support M.2 NVMEs. And you can see that's the 2230 model, which is the smaller of the ones that you have there. This thing weighs no more than 38 grams. And you can see all the operating temperatures going on there. And if we take a look at the actual drive itself, there's two things that come in the box. Not a lot to see in an unboxing. You have a cable, short cable, and then you have the actual drive itself. So you have a lot of options when it comes to using this. Uh, the one thing I'll mention is that if you do have the cable in, like you're gonna see me doing in a second right here, uh, what ends up happening is kind of limits the, uh, the portrait mode because obviously the cable is going to be there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect this uh, to the drive so you can see how this works really quick. And I'll try to put it on screen so you can see this as well. So we'll turn on the phone. All right, plug it in. And one of the other things I like about the drive is that it does have LEDs. So you're gonna notice as soon as you plug it in, you get these little LEDs that will start popping up and you see how it lights up. And that's pretty much the drive starting up. And this is gonna be the same for when you're using this with a Windows device, iOS device, a let's say a Mac. And then once uh, they have Android support, you'd be able to get that with Android support as well. So let's take a look and see how fast we can transfer files. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and drag a file. And I wanna show you, I'm gonna pull a 1.92 gigabyte file. And this is from a uh, recording that I had done. I'm gonna to try to move it to the top because I'm doing this upside down. And I'm gonna put it right here in this drive, right? So I'm gonna put it right in the root. And I'm gonna let go so you can see how fast this is. So the speed is right here that you'll see it. Did you see that? You probably didn't because it's so fast. I'm gonna go ahead and move this into the test folder. I want you to watch that little swirly thing. Move it here, and when I go in here, it's like super duper fast. We're gonna go down here to downloads again, 
And I'm going to grab, I think that's the largest file that I have here for, for playing with. 1.92, that's a big one. So let's go back to it. And I'm going to do it again so you can see what's going on. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to bring it here. And we're going to put it in this directory. So you're going to watch the file name and then the swirl that's around it to see how fast it's going across. I'm going to let go and watch it. Voom. That is a 1.92 gigabyte file. That's how fast this is. And if I want to access it, you saw that. That's, that's how fast this drive is. So fast it is. Uh, I'm really waiting to see how this will work on an Android device. This type of experience that I'm showing you is happening on Windows. It's happening on also iOS. It is rapid. So it's going to be a great solution also. So if you're using, for example, Blackmagic uh, on your phone for recording, or if you haven't never heard of that, I would consider that you check it out. I would ask you to check it out because what you can do is you can actually record directly to this drive and not even have anything on your iPhone. And that's going to be great for those of you who have a small iPhone memory and didn't spend the money to get the really large memory capacity. This actually makes things uh, more usable and it doesn't really eat up the space that you have on your iPhone. So guys, that was our first look. Uh, really looking forward to seeing this guy right here working on Android. I can see this fitting in my workflow a lot and it is fast. It is super fast. And I like the fact that it has all those little nice little convenience features of it being MagSafe and then having the built-in kickstand, which is something that, you know, I live by. See you in the next video.